Welcome back to part two of my little mini series on how a dog show works and how it's much like a mini March Madness. Before we dive back in, groups is what everyone sticks around for all day long waiting to see. It usually starts anywhere from two to five in the afternoon and it takes up the rest of the day. What's really cool about our sport is all of you March Madness people have to wait like a month or longer to see who actually gets to the end. We have our own mini March Madness every single day. We do. So let's pick up where we left off. Here we go. We're on to level three, which is the variety groups. All of the dogs from the 193 different breeds that win best of breed at that show go on to compete within their group. The AKC has seven different all breed groups. First one we're gonna talk about is the sporting group. These dogs were bred to hunt game bird on the land and in the water. That could include pointers, retrievers, setters, and spaniels, the dogs that like water. Next we have the hound. Now these dogs were bred to hunt game using sight and sound. These breeds would be beagles, bassets, dachshunds, and greyhounds. Next, we have the working group. Now, these dogs were used to pull carts, guard property for search and rescue, Akitas, Boxer, Dobermans, St. Bernard, you, you get the idea. Next, you have the terrier group. Now, this is the largest group of all the groups. Some of the breeds are Airedale, Bull Terrier, Scottish Terrier. Terriers were bred to rid property of vermin like rats. Now the next is the toy group. Now that's my group. Toys were basically bred to be companions. Chihuahuas, Pomeranian, Chihuahuas, Havanese, Pugs, non-sporting group. This is a pretty diverse group whose breeds, they don't necessarily fit in any of the other groups. Poodles, Bulldog, Dalmatian. The last group is herding. Of course, these dogs were bred to help ranchers and shepherds herd their, their livestock. Briards, Holly, and the English Sheepdogs. That's the seven groups within your group the judge awards first, second, third, and fourth place. Same colors as the classes. Blue, red, yellow, and white. Group one, two, three, four, first, second, third, fourth. First in the group, second in the group, third in the group, fourth in the group. Group placement. Placed within the group. Now we get to move on to level four. So after all of the groups have completed competing, all of the dogs that won the blue ribbon, a G1, first place, one dog representing each group, go on to compete for best in show. Process of elimination. There will be seven dogs in the ring competing for best in show. We had one dog representing each breed, one dog representing each group, one dog getting best in show. What'd you think? Makes sense, right? Because we start with level one at the beginning of the day, and by the end of the day, we're already at the end of our bracket, awarding best in show. And then we come back the next day and do it all over again. Yeah, maybe we should get hats. You're just figuring out best in show, bitch, aren't you?